friends welcome to kwa tv today i am going to be talking about uh, two competitive brands two competitive smart home brands in the market that is sonoff and toya both of them are hugely popular in the economic segment both have a huge fan following of people who are very passionate about uh, each of them both of these brands are available online in amazon for a fraction of cost of the branded traditional branded uh, smart home products both are good for small projects i wouldn't choose it for large projects with uh, say 50 to 70 devices the logic behind this is wifi spectrum is already crowded with uh, multiple mobiles laptops smart tvs av streaming devices like netflix fire tv etc to add more burden to that in my opinion is fairly not sensible or sustainable for large projects it's better to choose to choose uh, dedicated systems like zwave Uh, okay, back to Sonoff and Toya. Let's start with the companies behind these guys. Uh, Sonoff is a brand of a Chinese company called IT. IT or IT EAD? I'm not sure about it. It's a uh, huge, po- hugely popular among the DIY crowd. You know, the the ones that uh, customize it by flashing, uh, you know, open source firmwares like Tasmota or Shell. So as much as people say it's very easy to be uh, doing it, I can vouch that if you don't have much programming skills. or don't have hundreds of hours to you know tinker in your product and system you're not going to be going anywhere so in the case just choose to go for a professional solution from a professional installer uh, coming to tuya tuya is a ecosystem of products from a chinese company called tuya it's not customizable to the level of sono there is uh, tuya convert uh, you know the, the tuya convert is used to flash uh, custom software onto tuya but uh, in my opinion i've always found it difficult to do it than so off but uh, what's interesting is uh, to uh, as a platform it lets you to uh, l- let a lot of companies to develop uh, easily develop uh, smartphone products on in my country that i live in that is uh, india many top brands have already jumped into the to your bandwagon that is uh, companies like uh, schneider gri um, cisca siemens higher than over etc there are some of them i'm naming only a few of them there's like much much more So the thing is, if you buy a smart bulb from Cisco, you can add it to to your app, uh, Smart Life app, Cisco app, or even higher grade Lenovo apps also. Uh, so coming to the similarities between these solutions, that is, uh, uh, Sono and Toya, both of them are Wi-Fi based, expressive ESP8266 chip based uh, solutions, uh, which means you can automate your home without spending loads of money, and uh, it also means you don't need to Uh, spend your money on local hub, uh, which reduces the budget a lot. Uh, both Sonoff and two other devices connect uh, to their respective clouds, and you can, you know, uh, they are uh, you can operate them from their apps. So the apps that you will be using it for uh, Sonoff will be the EVLink app. The two other devices can be operated from the two other smart and uh, smart life app. App wise, the two other and smart life apps they look more or less similar, but uh, Uh, Toya and Smart Life uh, looks a little bit more polished and uh, feels a little bit more uh, modern, while Sonoff Evelink lags a uh, little bit behind. So there's a lot of ways to trigger devices, also uh, based on weather in uh, Toya Smart as well as the Smart Life app. Whereas the Sonoff Evelink also lags behind in the weather-based triggering also. Coming to the features. Uh, Sonoff has an option to resume its state after a power outage. That is, if you had left it on uh, after a power outage, it will come back to on state. But Tuya doesn't have it yet. Sonoff also doesn't work with the dual band router setting. You need to shut down the 5 gigahertz band and add the devices in 2.4 gigahertz band, then re-enable the 5 gigahertz band. It's a sort of a pain while doing the configuration. Uh, but Tuya works fine in. the dual band router setting also using the compatibility mode uh, both tuya and sonoff also has a zigbee hub to which you can add in uh, zigbee devices so uh, no one gets any additional point because of this and both of them have good integration with uh, voice assistants the power of the uh, popular ones like uh, alexa google home also they they integrate finely with iftt also iftt is just one way to integrate both of these platforms together so if you have a mix of uh, um to your devices and um, stone of devices you can integrate both of them together using the iftt platform but uh, since iftt has now become a sort of a paid service i'm not sure how interesting it is going to be for many casual users 
So all in all, in my opinion, for a common person who only wants a smartphone and doesn't want to get into the nitty gritty of custom firmware, uh, I would definitely recommend Truya based devices. The strong reason for this recommendation is uh, the presence of so many many branded products and the support that comes from these companies. So as a smart home automation system, is Truya or Sonoc worth it? So yeah, very much. If the budget is not the only concern, uh, then I would suggest to look into other uh, other alternatives. Because uh, when you spend 10,000 to 20,000 rupees or in terms of US dollars for 100 to 200 dollars, you can al- almost automate your entire home with this budget. But budget is not the only concern. I would look into a much more uh, worthy, better processor based systems like uh, Fivaro Z-Wave or Samsung. So that's my opinion. Thank you.